adding and subtracting vectors. There's two methods. The graphical method, which can be quick, I'll illustrate that here, but it's not going to be accurate unless you use a good rule in a protractor, and I'm just going to sketch them here. You're allowed to do that for homework when I say graphically do them, just make a nice sketch as best you can. And then the probably the preferred method, which we'll do later, is the component method. Uh, you can add as many vectors as you want. Basically, graphically it works like this. Here we're going to do A plus B plus C. We call this the, the head to tail method or tail to head method. What you do is you're going to start off with A, and you can do this in any order. There's the commutative property of vector addition. doesn't matter what order you do these in. You get the same answer either way. So I'm going to start in the middle of paper where I have some space. And like here's my x, y axis. But I'm going to draw that just kind of lightly or small. But vector A, as we had yesterday, is 10 meters at 40 degrees. And that's your 40 degrees. I wouldn't normally write that on there. But that's roughly, let's call that 10 meters long. Then what you do is, is you then indicate where the vector ends, right there at that point. The vector doesn't go on. That's where the end point of that vector is. It's not like a ray that keeps going, going, going. That vector is 10 meters long if we did it to scale. And then what you do is you imagine another coordinate system right there. Those should be straight lines. And then you ignore the first vector, and that's your origin for vector B. And vector B is 5 meters. I'm going to draw it kind of, well, try to draw it half as long. If I had a ruler, I would do it half as long. And it's the same direction as we had it yesterday. It's in the 125 degree direction. 35 degrees west of the northward positive y axis. That's 5 meters long. So now we're at a new location once again. The end point of that vector is right here. It does not continue on, but we're at that spot. Once we get there, then we have 8 meters at 180 degrees. And I notice I'm a little out of space here, but this will still work. I'm going to draw a new coordinate axis system at that point. And vector C is a new vector now. It's not the one we had from yesterday, but it's 8 meters at 180. 8 meters at 180 starts here and goes this way. 180 degrees is straight left, negative y direction. And that gets me to another location, which is right here. So if you had more vectors, you just keep going, tail to head, tail to head, and keep adding them. And sometimes they cross over each other and get a wacky pattern. But the, the important things are the original spot you started at, the tail of the first vector, which is down here at the first axis. Let me use, a, let me use black for that. And then the final ending spot, the arrowhead of the last vector, C. And what you do is you connect those, but you have to connect those, uh, what we call is the, the answer, which we call the resultant, has to point from the original location to the final location. So that black vector I'm drawing is what we call the resultant, the resultant vector. It's the summation of the three vectors. And what we're doing here is if we had a scale diagram, we would be able to measure that right now. But I'm just going to approximate that as best I can. And depending on your diagram and how good it is, you might have a slightly different result than I have. But that's pretty long in my diagram. If my scale at first, the first vector A is 10 meters long, this is much longer than 10. Mine's not about 16 or, <clears throat> excuse me, 18 meters long. I'll say, I'll say it's like, yeah, I'm going to say 18 meters long. And it direction is, well, it's about 120 degrees. So it's 18 meters at 120 degrees would be my answer for this one, my approximate scale diagram. All right, let me do A plus C. I'll do it again. So here we go, just adding two vectors. Once again, you start at a certain spot, draw your x, y axes. Vector A starts off in the same direction, 10 meters long. And then we have plus C. This one's a little easier. I'll go a little faster, draw my new axes. Vector C starts there. It's 8 meters long, all right? And then I have my first spot and my last spot, and I connect those with an arrow, a vector, represents the resultant, the, the addition, summation of those two, points towards the final location. It's a coincidence. It's about the, about the same direction as the other one, as 
the problem from part A, but now it's much, much shorter. The resultant here in part B, or pro part problem 2, for my vector, uh, it's about, I'm just guessing, that one is, say, about 6 meters long at you know, 110 degrees, 120 degrees. And that's my answer for that one. Now, subtracting vectors. All right, vector subtraction. I want to do c minus v. Well, it's just like it is in arithmetic. We're going to do c plus the opposite of b. So here's how that works. You just start off like you did with addition, and really it is just addition. So I'm going to start near the middle of the page. I'm going to draw my vector b. So let's say that's 8 meters at negative 180. Brings me to this location right here. I'm going to imagine once again my little coordinate system. And usually I won't draw this, but I'll just draw it for your reference right now. Plus b would be something like this. That's plus b. But we don't want to do plus b. We want minus b. So I'm imagining that, or I can even sketch that, but I'm not going to use that. You go the exact opposite. That's 180 degrees diametrically opposed. So you have something like this. That is minus b. As best I can do on this screen. So this is c. And then the minus b. The two locations we're interested in are your starting location from the original vector and this final location that the minus b takes you to and that defines my resulting subtraction of the two vectors my result, my resulting vector r is well approximately equal to oh that's about five meters at oh uh, I want to say well it's 180 plus about 50 at about, so it's about 230 degrees. Yeah, 200, let's say 230 degrees. So that's C minus B, graphically.